So in this video, I want to go through some examples of differentiating polynomials. Okay? So we're going to differentiate each of these. We're going to find dy by dx, the gradient function, for each of these curves and this line. Okay? So I'm going to start off with the top one. Okay? So we need to remember that when we differentiate with uh, just x's like this, the power comes down to the front, and we take one off the power. So the 6 comes down to the front, and we subtract 1 from the power. So we'll have 6x to the 5 there. And then we're going to have plus 4 coming down to the front, and then taking 1 off the power. Okay? So we'll get 6x to the 5 plus 4x cubed. And that is the gradient function of the first one. Now for the second, we have 3x to the 5. Now, the 5 comes down to the front, and what happens is the 5 multiplies with the 3. And so we're going to have 15x, and then take 1 off the power. Okay? So when the power comes down to the front, it multiplies with whatever is there. So here, the 2 comes down to the front, multiplies with the minus 4, so we get minus 8, and then we take 1 off the power. So minus 8x to the 1. Now, number three. Number three I've added in to make us remember how it worked when we were just finding the gradient of a line. So the 2x, now you can think of this, so we can easily identify what the gradient is. We know that it's going to be 2. How does it fit in with this process of the power coming down to the front and taking one off the power? Well, We've got 2x, so that's effectively 2x to the 1. The 1 is coming down to the front, multiplies with the 2, and then I have x to the 0, because I take 1 off the power. And x to the 0 is just 1. So if you have 2x, it just differentiates to 2. Now what about that plus 7? Okay, so if there are no x's involved, if you just have a constant added onto the end, and it can be whatever you want, it differentiates to zero. Okay, it disappears. So that information is lost, effectively. Number four. So, y is equal to x cubed, so three, x squared, okay, power comes down the front, take 1 off the power, take away, 7 comes down to the front, multiplies with a 5 to make 35, take 1 off the power, then we've got 2x, which differentiates to 2 in exactly the same way as we had there, and then the 7 differentiates to 0, and so that disappears, and that is the gradient function of number 4. For number 5, We have 6, so this lone number, this constant, which, when differentiated, goes to 0. And so that disappears. Then we've got minus 12x. Well, 2x differentiates to 2, so minus 12x differentiates to minus 12. And then we've got minus 7x squared. So the 2 comes down to the front, multiplies with the minus 7, and then take 1 off the power. And so we just have minus 12 take away 14x. So when you're, uh, make sure that you identify the singular constant values without any x's next to them, they just differentiate to 0. And a, uh, a linear term like this, the x just disappears. Okay? And that's how we can differentiate polynomials like this.